Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to show you how to set up your custom alerts in the Think or Swim platform. Uh, custom alerts are going to be really important to use, especially when you're trading, because you're going to look at hundreds of charts over the you know the course of days and months and weeks. So it's going to be hard to keep track of all the key levels of support and resistance. Um, for when a stock gets triggered. So, you know, yeah, a lot of people will write things down or they'll create Excel spreadsheets, but that's kind of a cumbersome way to do things. Uh, and the Thinkorswim platform has a really great uh, way to set it up where you could actually receive alerts to your cell phone or by email. So it'll actually let you know to an electronic device immediately uh, when an alert has been triggered, which is going to be very important. So you can uh, keep on track of your stocks and uh, be aware of proper uh, le you know, ev levels of support or resistance uh, areas uh, to be able to get into a stock. So having custom alerts set up is going to be very important to be able to help you to do that. Um, if you're not familiar with our web series on Thinkorswim, make sure you follow our YouTube playlist um, or our YouTube channel and then watch our Thinkorswim playlist where you'll see all the videos that we've done on uh, think or swim and using their platform. We just really recommend using them because they're really an incredible platform, especially to be able to practice and learn on. This platform that you're seeing right now, you'll see I'm up here in a simulated trading account. I'm not using my live account and it runs just like my live account. So you can see real live market action and data uh, set up on your virtual account. Now they will set it up with delayed data at first, but if you call Think or Swim or call TD Ameritrade, they'll switch it to real time data for you. So just give them a call and say you want the real data added on and then you'll be able to see uh, real live market data. But as you can see here, I'm making this video during live market hours and I'm looking at JNUG, which is a gold ETF and this thing is running right now. So I wanted to show you how to set up a custom alert and show you how to get it to email uh, or by text um, and then I'm going to show you the area within the platform where you could actually find the alerts uh, on a tab so right now you know you're if you're using your virtual account I don't believe that you can set it up where it's going to go to your email or by cell phone uh, I tried doing it on my virtual account and it didn't work now I'm not sure if that's because of my live platform um, I already have it set up so maybe that's the reason um, but uh, I will show you how to set it up uh, within your virtual account um, and you can set it up that way and see if it works if not it'll work the same way on your real account I just don't know if um, either one TD Ameritrade doesn't allow it because it's a virtual account or if it's because it's being blocked because I already have it on my real live account but either way just how you go and set it up is really go right up to your setup screen up here this toggle wheel click on setup click on application settings and then click on notifications and then you just put your email address here or you can put your and then get your confirmation code and enter it there or um, set up your cell phone here to get text messages and then you'll put a confirmation code in here and then you can just allow yourself uh, what kind of notifications you want when whether you want the alert to be triggered uh, when you know proper you know key area of support or resistance uh, gets triggered whether you want you know certain order fills announcements so you can decide what alerts you want to receive so again decide whether you want email or cell phone or both confirm them with your confirmation codes check off what you want to receive and then you would hit apply settings and then you're set up so again not sure if it'll work on your uh, virtual account but it'll work on your real account but just practice with it so that's where you go to um, get it set up is just go right up to the setup screen applications notifications that's how you find it now if you want to set up an alert i'm going to set up an alert or a couple of them and then i'm going to show you where to find them in the platform whereas if you can see it just manually without it coming to your cell phone or by text so right here you can see gold's moving right now it's really overbought on the one minute and the five minute uh, even on the daily it's just running right now this is a gold etf jnug so i want to see if um JNUG is going to break a key support level. So I'm going to do one with resistance and support. 
So right now I'm confused because I would be like, not confused, but like if I want to get in on this and go long, I got to be careful because I got to wait for it to pull back. So I don't want to just get in at, you know, a psychological resistance point right around $12 and have it pull back and then I start losing money. So what I would do is I would create an alert right now since if you look here, this is the five minute, the high, it's been going up all day. The high of day now is 1197. So I'm going to right click up here and I'm going to create alert. So I'm going to create my first alert to see if it's going to break 1197. So I'm going to right click and then you want to come down here and you want to click on create alert. So I want to be alerted when JNUG hits the, mar the mark here where price is at or above 1198. I'm going to say, I'm going to just type in a note, break high of day. Um, now the alert's created. So now while I'm making this video and talking to you, if it breaks 1190, if it hits 1198, it's going to let me know. So if I'm going to go long, either whether I'm going to, well, let me do this. If I'm going to go day trading it and try and get a scalp, it's going to alert me. If I'm trading to swing trade it, it's going to do the same thing too as well. So it's going to let me know basically that it's going and it's breaking a key level. It's breaking a high of day. So that's where I'm going to decide here. It's down here. It's 1131. If I was looking at day trade and potentially make a quick scalp off it, then maybe I would get in if it breaks 1190, you know, hits 1198. But then I, I don't know if I necessarily would because that $12 is a, uh, a key. Uh, it's a psychological resistance point. So at that mark, this alert will stay in the system for me. So maybe it'll break it tomorrow. If it doesn't break today, maybe it'll break tomorrow. Oh, look at that. It just broke it. But now what? Let's we're going to keep an eye on this. It broke 1198. So now you're going to say, well, wait a second. That didn't go to my cell phone. That didn't go to my email. Where did it go? Well, here's where you go to find it. So we saw and we noticed that it was triggered because we're, you know, we're staring at the screen. But if you're away from your screen, you can go to Market Watch and then Alerts. And then you'll see JNUG triggered. So the mark was at or above $11.98. It got triggered. Here were some that I did earlier, some other videos I was making, where it says triggered. If it's active, it means the alert is still active and it hasn't been triggered yet. But as you can see, the mark hit the $11.98 for JNUG, and it let me know. So I can go in here and look. So this is where you can see your active uh, alerts and ones that have been triggered. And then you can go back and pull up the charts and see what's going on with them. And look at this, 11.99. Look at these perfectly beautiful, like it's so bullish. It's above all the indicators right now. It's beautiful bull flags going up, bull flag, uh, but super overbought on the RSI. So it's got to start pulling back. But I don't know. It's been running really crazy here. Uh, maybe it'll go another day or two, or maybe it'll fall tomorrow. Who knows? But that's how the alert was triggered for a stock that hits um, a resistance area. But let's say now, well, let's say because, hey, JNUG is really overbought right now. So I want to go and I want to create uh, an alert to allow me to know when it hits like a support level or when it drops back down again because I want to get back in. I want to get in on a pullback because I want to buy at support levels down here and not at resistance levels because I don't want to overpay. Because if I just bought JNUG right now at 1193 and then it drops because these price price wants to move back to support levels and these EMAs, these uh, moving averages, price you know traders keep an eye on this and the algorithms and the computers keep an eye on all these uh, moving averages. So when they hit certain psychological areas of resistance, they'll sell, they'll wait for pullbacks to get in at towards these uh, moving averages or support levels, and that's when they're gonna that's when you watch whether they break and they just fall, so it's breaking levels of support, or whether someone you know the buyers come back in and they buy and the stock continuously goes up. But you can see here now the stock's at eleven ninety four, it hit that twelve dollars and then boom, it fell back down. So now let's say I wanted to get back in on a pullback. So let's say I'm waiting for it to, it's super overbought in the RSI. Let's say I want to wait for it to you know, drop a little bit more. So this time, instead of I wanted to see if it breaks a resistance level, I want to see if it's going to hit a support level so that I can find my entry. So here's where I would put it down here on um, the five minute. Again, it's all a matter of your trading preference and style. I'm a short term trader or a day trader. So I'm keeping an eye on these one-minute and five-minute charts a lot. If you're a long-term trader, 
you might tend to be, you know, looking more on the daily and the weeklies and you want to see pullbacks. So you see this huge green candlestick on the daily. You might want to wait to get back in when price comes down a little bit further. So it's all up to your matter of preference. But right now I'm going to create an alert where it's going to let me know if it pulls back to this nine EMA right here. So you'll see the RSI will come down a little bit more. Then I'll find my entry and see if, you know, decide whether I'm going to day trade it or swing trade it. But again, I want to buy at support levels, not resistance. And this is huge resistance right now, and it's still overbought. So I will right click again right here. And I will go down and create alert. And this time, instead of it saying where it's at or above, I want to put it at at or below. So if it falls down, to the 1175 area, I wanna, I'm gonna just type it in as um, dip buy. So if Gina drops to 1175 and it's at or below this amount, this alert will be triggered. So you can see here, uh, I'm looking right here and see this nice beautiful bull flag. It's hitting resistance, that psychological resistance area of $12. I'm waiting for it to pull back if I'm going long or like no long, meaning like if I want to, if I'm bullish on the stock. So if I'm bullish, whether it's short term or I'm going to swing trade it, I want to wait for a pullback for entry because I don't want to get in at $12 and have it drop down to $11.75 or $11.58 and lose a bunch of money. So right here, I have my mark set up to see if price is going to come back down and hit that mark. If you're, um, Again, a swing trader. I'm going to cancel this alert, but let me show you again where to find it. Go to Market Watch and Alerts, and you'll see I have an active alert right here for a dip buy. And it's active. My other one was triggered. So I'm going to go in right here and right click, and I'm going to cancel that alert. So that one's canceled. And let me go back in. And if you're a swing term, a swing trader, or a longer term trader, then you're going to look and you're going to want to see maybe when price gets down a little bit lower where it's not so overbought on the daily. So maybe you're going to want to wait and see if it's going to price is going to fall back down, maybe fill this gap in between here. So maybe you'd put an alert right here to create alert where it's around 1014 where you're doing maybe you'll type in pullback on the daily. Oh, oh, that's oh, see, perfect example. So, see, this is this is I love this platform. It gets a little bit annoying, but just to show you the error I just made, so you'll know the difference. I'm going to do that again. It didn't create that alert because I had the mark when it was at or above ten dollars and fourteen cents. I want to change it to at or below. So I'll put pullback on the daily. And voila, there you go. So if you're a swing trader or a long-term trader, you want to wait for this to pull back a little bit. Um, you know, again, it might go another day, a day or two. But again, a lot of people say, hey, gold's, you know, if someone's new or they're not an experienced trader, they'll say gold or a certain segment's moving or a stock's moving. So let me get in and buy it because it's hot right now. But the problem is you got to be very careful. You always want to look at the technical indicators and it's starting to broach overbought. Now this could run. It could run a few days. It can run a week. You just never know. But you want to look at the whole big picture. So if you're looking and you're seeing it's bullish, you want to look at these other indicators here, which are still bullish, super overbought. But you want to find your points of entry, which is, you know, at these levels of support, the EMAs, the uh, moving average. You want to see things pull back to get your entry. So if you're looking at the bigger picture and it is bullish, which is great, you want to find the entry points where you can get in um you know, the best price you can obviously make money. And you can see here, psychologically, this $12 is a barrier. Uh, so you want to watch it closely. So that's how you set up your custom alerts. You're going to do this for lots of stocks, and then it's going to build your list. So you'll see the alert list here of the ones that you have. If they're currently active, it means they haven't been triggered yet. Obviously, if it's triggered, it means, uh, you know, your alert's been triggered. So you want to go in and see what's happening with the stock. And how you go back and set the alerts up again are just by setup, application settings, notifications, put your email and your text here, and that's how you set it up. So again, just right click. I use a mouse, so when I say right click, you know, I'm using a mouse. However your version, whether it's laptop or however using Mac, 
uh, whatever your version of a right click is, and then you would just go down and create your alert. If you're looking for it to break a resistance level, it's at or above, or hit a support level, it's at or below, and then you just type in your notes, and just that's how you build a whole bunch of custom alerts. Um, if you're not familiar with our community on Facebook, we have a great community called the Bullish Bears, where we are a group of traders from around the world that just love helping other traders out. So come and join us if you haven't already. Uh, we are at bullishbears.com, or you can follow or click the link below and head over to our website and request.